Hey everybody, Zach again at NewTutorial.com coming in making a video for you today. I have no real agenda for this video or direction I want to go. I just kind of want to go on a rant. And, you know, I was uh, noticing uh, some of the trailers every once in a while I'm on YouTube and um, when I'm putting my videos up or I'm looking at other videos and you see uh, the ads before the videos and sometimes they're trailers for new movies. And recently I'm looking at one and it's the trailer for the new Ben-Hur movie. And I'm like, are you serious? The, a new Ben-Hur movie? Um, Ben-Hur is one of my favorite movies, if you didn't know. Um, it, it's definitely on my top five. Uh, it, probably I have other movies uh, that are in my top five. Um, just to give you a few, The Longest Day is probably, if not number one, very close. Patton, uh, the movie Patton, also very close. Fiddler on the Roof, you know, one of my top five. I don't know, I feel like I, it'd be hard to pick another one to round it out, but, you know, Ben Hur is up there. Ben Hur is in my top five. So, um, when I saw that they're coming out with a new movie in August of 2016 for a new Ben Hur movie, I'm like, are you serious? You know, so I explained it like this. I was talking, uh, to my friend Sal Baldovino about this, I think, uh, recently on, um, on, uh, Facebook. And, you know, when, when a sports figure like Michael Jordan or Cal Ripken or, um, you know, someone who's just, I mean, Ozzie Smith, you know, some, someone who's a Hall of Famer, no doubt about it, Hall of Famer, when they retire, Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle, when these people retire, they take their number of their jersey and they retire it. They retire their jersey because there's no one that's going to reach the pinnacle of that player's skill set any time in history. I mean, he did something, those, those people reached an achievement so spectacular in their skill level on the field that, you know, they just retire it as a way to honor that person uh, for their achievements. And, you know, you know how I feel about sports, okay? So I'm not like, a, you know, I'm trying to promote sports here or whatever. You know, I just think it's another dis big distraction in the world, especially for men. And, uh, but, you know, when, when someone reaches an achievement, they retire that number. And I'm not big on movies either. I mean, mo Hollywood just puts out garbage these days and you, you really just you know it's filled with so much smut and innuendos and you know stuff that just really a family doesn't need to be going you know an, an adult doesn't need to be going to see but you know there's certain movies that have been made out there that are just classics how many oscars do you need to win before they retire a movie I mean, isn't it time that maybe, you know, for some of the classics out there, because we all know Hollywood just loves to reproduce movies over and over again with the same theme. You know, how many Batmans do we need to see? How many, you know, all, all the, it, they find what makes money and they keep redoing it. Or they find a movie that hasn't been seen in a long time who uh, they've gone out and done some focus group. And the focus group comes back with information that says, if you redid this movie, or this is one of the, their favorite movies uh, of all time, you know, one of the best classics of all time. And then they decide to remake it because they see there's money in it. You know, but... It's, doesn't there a point in time come along where you have to be like, you know what, that jersey is retired. We're not putting that jersey back on a new player. It doesn't matter how good the rookie may be or how good the players, you know, looks like. We're, we're not taking Michael Jordan's jersey down and putting it on somebody new. It's just not going to happen. That jersey is hanging up in the rafters. It's there forever, and, you know, and, and it's not coming down. Ben Hur, winner of eleven Academy Awards, I think four Golden Globe Awards, and you're going to remake that movie? Seriously? I just I mean if if it goes I mean yeah I I watched the trailer and the trailer is spectacular all kinds of great special effects you know um but you don't really get to see the acting in fact you know the acting you do get to see in the trailer just doesn't seem to be as good and and there's no way you're going to beat the story of the original Ben Hur I believe 1959 you're just not going to get there there's a reason why it won 11 academy awards and four golden globes okay it's, it's a pinnacle that is hardly ever can ever be reached again. But yet, Hollywood decides, I want to go in and make this movie again. Because the focus group says so, and you know we can make a lot of money at it. Because a lot of people would want to see it. It's just, there's just some movies that shouldn't be remade. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> just, all John Wayne movies, off limits. You shouldn't remake those. The, the remaking of the Alamo was horrible. I mean, it was horrible. They made Davy Crockett into a coward and everyone knows history tell Davy Crockett was not a coward the guy I mean the legendary Davy Crockett supposedly killed a bear at age three I don't know if that happened or not but that's what the storybooks say 
But the guy was in Indian Wars. He fought for under Andrew Jackson. The guy died, fought and died at the Alamo. He, you know, he went to Congress for crying out loud, which you can't be a coward to do that. I mean, he, he, you see some of the speeches he wrote in Congress. They basically ran, wanted to run him out of town on a rail because he was so pro-Constitution. The guy was not a coward. And um, probably one of the last great congressmen we ever had, you know, that ever ran, you know, it's been in Washington since. They just remake movies over and over again. It's, and, you know, there's no way you're going to match, you know, the original Alamo, even though it didn't win an Academy Award because of the politics involved at the time of the Vietnam War and the liberal left hating John Wayne. Um, you know, they didn't win. He didn't win any Academy Awards because of that. Um, but, uh, you know, that's today. It's, it's one of the best. I mean, it's, it's a great movie. Patton. Patton's another one I could see him remaking in the years to come. You know, there's no way you're going to match George C. Scott's um, making a Patton. Now, in this new movie, Ben Hur, are they going to, um, you know, I mean, because there's a point in time in the story where Ben Hur encounters Yeshua, and it'd be interesting to see if they actually use the word Yeshua. Um, it'd be interesting to see if, uh, just like Charlton Heston did, there was a time when they were eating the bread and he gave uh, the blessing of the bread uh, before they ate. Uh, that was really interesting. We'll see if they do that in the new movie. I, I doubt they will, but you never know. Um, you know, I, I just think some of these movies you can't remake. And if you go in, you go back to Ben Hur and you look at the time and effort. That they that they put in to build that arena for the chariot race, it's unmatched. Today it's all CGI, it's all fake. You know, you have a bunch of modelers making this stuff, and so, and I, I'm a computer you know graphics guy. I mean, I, I I get that. That's my bread and butter. It's what I do. But there's just something, you know, to be said about you know seeing it real and have it be real instead of CGI generated because the eye can tell the difference, the brain can tell the difference. Um, if it looks, it's too clean, um, and so. You're never gonna. I don't think you're ever gonna match what Ben Hur originally was, especially eleven Academy Awards and four Golden Globes. Just not gonna do it. I think there's a point in time where a movie comes up and it reaches a certain point of success that you just have to retire that movie. That it has to be a rule in Hollywood. I'm sorry, that jersey's retired. No more. What do you think? Am I off base on this one? All right. Leave it at that. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>